Alright. Oh. Hi. This is a new setup. Let me know what you think. So I'm sure it's pretty obvious now at this point in time this is like my favorite camera ever. This is the Fujifilm X100F and today I'd like to talk about my settings and the accessories I use for it. So that's what this video is about. So let's just hop straight into it. Uh, first let's talk about the accessories. Um, this wrist strap that I have here. This is the Peak Design uh, Cuff I believe it's called. It's a nice sleek really good quality little wrist strap. So the X100F for the most part feels pretty good in my hand. I do find myself sometimes wishing I had a little more grip. Maybe it's the size of my hands. But um, I know some brands make some grips for this thing, but I think that kind of takes away from the aesthetics of this beautiful camera. So I decided to get this wrist strap here to just offer a little more security when I'm out. And I chose this Peak Design one because I love the Peak Design brand. So uh, here's what it looks like. It adjusts like so. You just put your hand in and then drop it and it's that easy. It uses Peak Design's famous anchor system and when you're not wearing it on the camera you could wrap it around your wrist like so and wear it as a bracelet. Now that's not the most attractive thing in the world I'll admit it but if you didn't want to use it in your camera and didn't want to put it in your bag you could wear it on your wrist. I don't know it's pretty cool. And then you just uh, slap it back on your camera that easily and you're ready to go. Next thing is this lens hood on the front. Now I used to use the lens cap all the time on this camera because I guess I was kind of paranoid of something damaging the lens. So what I found was I would go up to get my shot and the lens cap would be on and I'd forget and then pull it off and by the time I pulled it off I'd miss the shot completely. So I decided to buy this lens hood and I forgot the brand but it's the cheapest lens hood I found on Amazon and I just wanted it to be silver to match the camera and it really does its job. Nothing hits the lens. Now I know something could, you know, protrude through this giant hole here and hit the lens straight on, but uh, I, I don't know. I think this does a pretty good job protecting the lens and uh, I didn't think it was possible, but I think it makes this camera look even cooler. All right, so those are the two accessories I use with my X100F. I would just like to say that those two accessories are linked in the description and those are Amazon affiliate links. If you use those, I get a small commission. Just letting you know. All right, so let's talk settings. 99.9% um, .9 of the time, I use this camera for street photography. The other time I use it for like landscapes or lifestyle shots, travel shots, whatever. But 99.9% .9 of the time it's street photography, so I'm gonna talk about those settings. All right, so first my aperture, I let it hang out at about 5.6 to f11. I really want all my photos all my street photos anyway, to be like tack sharp. If it gets a little darker, I'll go down to f4 or 2.8. Very rarely do I shoot at f2 because I think the image could look kind of soft, but um, it's very usable at f2 and it's nice to have. But uh, for the most part, 5.6 to f11. Now as cool as the mechanical dials are up here, I very rarely use those. I have my ISO set to this front dial right here and my shutter speed set to this rear dial right here. And that way when I'm out shooting, I could just dial in my settings really quick and for the most part, get my shot really quick. Before I did that, I'd be like, ooh, oh, faster shutter speed. Okay. And you miss the shot. This is quick, seamless. Okay, so let's move on to the directional arrows here. Uh, my left arrow, I have that as my film simulations and I mostly have it set on classic chrome because that's my favorite film simulation. The down arrow I have set to my autofocus mode. The right arrow I have set to my face eye detection settings just in case I want to change those quickly. And my top arrow is set to the drive mode just like it says on there. Let's hop into the menu here. I shoot 3 by 2 I shoot JPEG and compressed raw, lossless compressed. My autofocus mode is set to single and I have 91 autofocus points enabled as opposed to 325. I think the camera focuses a tad bit faster that way. I also have my autofocus set on this back joystick here so I could just move it around as I please and set the focus point wherever I want. 
and I have the rule of thirds grid enabled. And last but not least, I have the built-in ND filter, which is so clutch in this camera, assigned to the function button right here. That way when I'm out and I need like a little bit of an exposure change, I can just hit the button here and my ND filter is on and off. It's perfect. So that is pretty much it. Those are the accessories and the settings I use with my Fujifilm X100F when I'm out shooting street photos. And just a quick side note, as I've said, I love to use this camera and I think because I love to use it so much, it gets me out more. And I get out, take more photos, get better, you get it. It's awesome. And that is where I'll leave you. If you're new around here, my name is Mike. I make videos about photography, travel, and just life in general. So if any of those are your thing, consider subscribing down there and leave this video a thumbs up because that actually helps the channel. That's it. I want to thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.